Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Ain't We Got Fun and I wanted to share some things I bought at Dollar Tree within this week. Today is Saturday, so I hope you're all having a good weekend and let's get started. First things here are some coloring books. These are from the designer series and yes, all of them are from the designer series. And this is the stained glass one. And this one says Flower Power. Some of them, the ink is darker than others. I usually try and check. And this one says Henna to Color. Yeah, some nice designs in all of those and all of these are made in the USA and usually they will say the retail price up here so I think this is a good value for a dollar and next are some of these hooks I've seen them there once in a while so I went ahead and bought two the command basics damage free hanging this one says it can hold half a pound and this one says it can hold two pounds this one has a small hook, so I'm assuming you use it just for little objects. Um, I have one that has a calendar hanging. And these are great for any place where you don't want to make holes in the wall. And this one's, uh, yeah, two pounds. And they have instructions in the back, and they work pretty well. I've used these in the past. I just tend to end up throwing them away rather than rebuying the sticker that they go on top of and they are it says hook made in China and strip made in Singapore for this plastic one it says hook made in Malaysia strip made in Singapore not really a big deal for me with stuff like this but that's that Next is this Mrs. Freshly's Delicious Deals Chocolate Chip Creams. I have been buying these oatmeal creams just whenever I feel like it. I try not to get stuff like this too frequently, but they can be handy to have around just as a treat. You get eight ounces. I feel like they taste pretty similar. Maybe this has a little bit more of an oatmeal taste, but um, this one doesn't have a lot of cinnamon at all, so I feel like it, this is similar, except it has chocolate chips. So if you like these, you'll probably like these if you like chocolate too. And both of these are made in the USA. Both of them say partially produced with genetic engineering. I think that's just new labeling laws, if that's a concern. Next is this Grab a Bubble Blows a Storm of Tiny Bubbles. This is a Greenbrier product. I just bought it out of curiosity. I think it's just a like a regular bubble thing, except it has tiny holes there. There are the instructions, and that's made in China. I just bought one sheet of stickers. You get nine. And this is also from Greenbrier, it says handmade. This is kind of uh, annoying, I guess. It says take a break, but this little teacup is covering up the K. So I don't know, maybe you can take that out and move it and just use some glue. But I like these little birds and the clock. Next are these Monet vegetable entertainer crackers. You get six ounces. And this one is by ConAgra, which is a, I have seen this at regular grocery stores. I'm pretty certain it's the same brand. But they're made in the USA. And I saw this on Alicia Clifton's channel. She said that they were pretty good, so I wanted to go ahead and try them out. randomly bought this it's not um, it just tastes like regular white cheddar popcorn except these have uh, that orange color you get two and five eighths ounces it's from the mixed cheetos which is frito-lay it says partially produced with genetic engineering next is this 
I just went ahead and bought this. I had been looking for some string. Sometimes I just need to tie stuff and this came with two brown and one green. And it's by the Greenbrier, made in China. And this I have never bought before, but I constantly see these in a lot of hauls. They call it washi tape. Here it just says tape, easy to tear, DIY delights. Some measurements. And I bought this owl. A roll of thin adhesive backed printed paper used for decorating. So that it shows some uses there. I'm assuming there's a wide variety of things you could use and there are quite a few different designs. So I'm sure I'll figure something out with that. One of these cranberry coast dried cranberries made with ocean spray cranberries. You get 3.5 ounces. And I've bought this a couple of times there before. I just like to snack on them. Sometimes I'll put them in yogurt, but usually I'll just eat them. Made in the USA with North American cranberries. Needs no refrigeration after opening. And this I saw on Stephanie Loves Fall. That is a nice channel with lots of hauls. Suave Professionals Replenishing Body Lotion Sea Mineral Infusion. It says, uh, I think it's to be compared to a uh, lotion from Ahava, which is kind of a pricier brand. This works great. I wanted to try it right away when she said that it made her skin really soft. It's a little watery, so I thought it wouldn't be moisturizing enough, but it seems to create sort of a silky layer without leaving a greasy residue, which I usually like depending on the time of year, but I I think this works great. I love how smooth your skin feels when you use it and you don't have any leftover greasiness that gets onto things. <laughs> Made in USA. Last is just this kid shampoo. I know I just bought some, but I just went ahead and bought another one to have. You get more in this bottle than the other one I bought. And this one is Made in USA. The other one I bought was Made in China. And my nephew picked out this green apple scent. Yes, this is made in the USA, like I said. And my nephew bought himself a few things, but he went ahead and took them away. So I am going to show a picture of what he bought. And he used his very own money. Bought this cat toy. His cat seems to be enjoying it. It's made in China. I told him to make sure to put it away when they're not playing because she might break it or swallow any of the little pieces that could come off. This Charms Cotton Candy, no distinct flavor, it is made in the USA. These metal airplanes and some earbuds. He told me that the earbuds don't work that great, but he's been enjoying them nonetheless. So that is everything. Hope you guys found that interesting or helpful. Bunch of random stuff. And I wanted to give a special thank you to Dollar Princess 101. She gave me a shout out in her most recent shout outs video. You guys should check out her channel. She has some different kinds of hauls, DIYs, some poems, just a good range of videos and she has a sweet personality. And thank you all again for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.